So, let's talk about Orin High School Host Club. Ah, one of my absolute favorite shows. I've been mentioning this show a lot on my channel, but I realize I haven't really told anyone what it's about. So today, I'm going to change that. I've decided to educate you all on this wonderful anime, Orin High School Host Club. And by educating, I mean forcing you all to watch it. So let's get started. Part 1. What is Oran High School Host Club? Only those with excellent social standings and those from filthy rich families are lucky enough to spend their time at the elite Oran Academy. The Oran's Host Club is where the school's handsomest boys with too much time on their hands entertain beautiful young ladies with also way too much time on their hands. Just think of it as Oran's playground for the rich and beautiful. Haruhi Fujioka is an honor student who attends Oran Academy on a scholarship. One day when looking for a quiet place to study, she runs into the Oran High School Host Club. In her attempts to escape from these flirtatious gentlemen, Haruhi accidentally knocks over a very expensive vase and must work as the host club's newest member in order to repay her debt. Oran High School Host Club is an anime show and it first premiered in 2011. It's also a manga? Manga? It's classified as a romantic comedy and it consists of 26 episodes. Part 2, The Host Club. The host club consists of six members and Haruhi. Haruhi Fujioka, like I said, is a first year student at Oran Academy. She is attending the school on a scholarship because she's considered a commoner. She's extremely smart and she lives with her cross-dressing dad. Haruhi is very compassionate and warm-hearted. She's also very blunt. She's a great character. Tamaki Suo, the host club king and prince. Tamaki is in his second year of school and he's the son of the wealthy chairman of Oran Academy. Flirtatious, flamboyant, overdramatic, and narcissistic, Tamaki adds humor and entertainment to the show. Despite his ego, Tamaki is actually pretty caring and he's the reason why all of the host club members are together in this ridiculous club. He thinks of the club like a family. Kyoya Oter, the vice president of the club and the cool type. Kyoya is also known as the mother of the club. Kyoya is in his second year of school and classmates and best friends with Tamaki. Kyoya's father is a powerful Japanese conglomerate who specializes in hospital management. Kyoya's not really a host of the club, but he's more of the manager, although he does have very doting followers. Kyoya thinks of the club more as like a business and he runs it as such. Kyoya appears to come across as cold-hearted and indifferent towards the club, but I think he actually enjoys the club and he likes being in the company of the idiots that he calls friends. Hikaru and Karu Hitachin. They are the club's mis mischievous and devious twins, and they play on the sort of role of forbidden brotherly love. It's weird, I know. <laughs> Hikaru and Karu are first years, and they are the sons of a fashion designer and classmates of Haruhi. Hikaru is the older twin, and he has a bit more of a quick temper than his younger brother, Karu, but the differences don't really become apparent between the two twins until later episodes and as the season progresses. The twins humor Tamaki by calling him boss and my lord. Although the twins do a great job of keeping themselves distant from the rest of the world, they actually open up to the club and its members, and especially Haruhi, who they both have a sort of soft spot for. Mitsukuni Hani Nozuka, or Honey, he is the oldest host club member and he plays on the role of the boy Lolita. <laughs> Honey is a third year who enjoys cakes and sweets and he can be found clutching his stuffed pink bunny Usachan. But don't let his sweet looks fool you. Honey is actually an expert in martial arts and he comes from a long line of expert martial artists. Takashi Morinozuka or Mori. He is the host club's second oldest member and he's known as the quiet, silent type. Mori can appear somewhat intimidating, especially because of his tall stature and the fact that he only ever says like two words or just basically one word in each episode. But he's actually very protective over his cousin Honey and later on Haruhi. Like Honey, Mori excels in martial arts and is a world champion in Kendo. 
I honestly love all of the host club members. I think they're a fantastic, wonderful, eclectic cast of characters. But if I had to rank them, I think it would go something like this. One would be Hikaru and Karu because I have a soft spot for the twins. I love the twins. Then Tamaki, Kyoya, Honey, and Mori. I don't actually dislike any of them too. I know a lot of people don't really like Mori because they find him boring, but I think he's really sweet. He's just quiet and by himself all the time. Tamaki's a little crazy for me, but I think he's hilarious and very entertaining. Also, Kyoya, I think he's a very interesting ca character because he's very calculating and he's probably the most intelligent out of all of the characters, so he's important to the mix. There's no one character that I really dislike. Who who can hate Honey Senpai? I mean, he's, he's adorable. Part 3. I ship them. So you could basically ship Haruhi with any of the host club members, however I personally ship Haruhi with Tamaki, like number one, Haruhi and Tamaki are like faves right there. But second choice would definitely be Hikaru because I think Haruhi is perfect for Hikaru. But I honestly don't know who ends up with who because I haven't finished reading the mangas yet. Part 4. Favorite Episodes Oran High School Host Club only has one season and that consists of 26 episodes. I basically love all the episodes, let's be real here, there's no one episode that I hate but there are some episodes that I favor more than others, so today I'll mention that real quick. Episode 2, The Job of the High School Host. This episode is just genuinely hilarious because Haruhi gets to learn the inner workings of what it means to be a host, and she's kind of introduced to the antics and schemes of the host club. Also, she attends her first ever formal event and ball. It's just a fun time. I love this episode. Episode 8, The Sun, The Sea, and The Host Club. You get to see the host club on vacation. This is hilarious too. This episode also hints at Tamaki's sort of feelings for Haruhi, and there's they share some very sweet moments. I don't know, it's adorable. Plus, you just gotta love the host club on vacation because they do it so in style. Episode 15, the refreshing battle of Karuzawa. Once again, the host club is on vacation. I think it's hilarious when the host club goes on vacation because they're so just freaking rich. Like, what the hell? Anyway, this episode is particularly hilarious because all the boys are competing for an extra guest room to stay at Haruhi's job place where she's taking on a summer job in a bed and breakfast and all the boys just want to stay in the same vicinity as Haruhi even though they can all afford to stay somewhere else. It's just funny. I love the host club. Episode 16, Operation Haruhi and Hikaru. This is another cute one just because it focuses on Hikaru particularly, but also like the twins in general and their feelings towards like the outside world and the difference and the differences between what they consider us and them. So I think that's pretty cool. The twins are interesting characters. Also, there's another cute scene that happens in here. Episode 20, The Door the Twins Opened. This is a good episode. I think it's basically a backstory episode on the twins. Like I said, I love the twins, so obviously I'm going to choose this episode as one of my favorites. This is kind of like the origins of the twins. And the last episode that I think is one of my favorites is episode 24, And So Kyoya Met Him. Now this is another backstory one. I particularly love the backstory ones because I find them fascinating. I love backstories, plus backstories on these amazing characters. Heck yes! But this is a backstory focusing more on Kyoya and Tamaki and their friendship. But just generally, I love this episode. This is a really good episode. So those are all my favorite episodes, I think. But it usually changes. My favorite episodes change. Yeah, but those are good ones. Those are real good ones. Part 5. Why no second season? Okay, this makes me so freaking mad. I think all animes do this where like they'll have a really good season and like they'll just kind of like leave you hanging in the last episode. So like what's up with that? Like episode 26, what the heck was that? Like yeah, you get some resolution, but mostly it just left me mad. Like I'm mad here watching this episode. Now, how am I supposed to know what happens? Like what if I never knew that Oron had mangas? Like what would I do then? What would I do? Would would my ship get together? How would I know? I wouldn't know. So this is the problem. 
part six. I just love this show so much. All right, so first I would like to say I just really loved how in depth the characters were and how much depth that the characters had. One of the main things that I love about animes or just animes that I love in general are the kind with a really good cast of characters and this show definitely had a good cast of characters. It was definitely more character driven I think, more than plot driven wise because it really had no plot but it was just more crazy fun antics with the characters, a lot of the characters personalities and stuff so I really loved that. I just loved all of the host club members' personalities. They were all so different from each other, yet they all meshed together and they all complemented each other really well. They all just like clicked together like a family. Like twins even kind of refer to the host club as more or less like a family, and so does Tamaki himself. They're all just fantastic. One of the other things that I really love is how Tamaki refers to Kyoya as mommy or mother, and Kyoya just kind of rolls with it. Like, He's all like, based on club position, I guess that would be me. <laughs> like he responds to Tamaki calling him mother, like what? And also how Tamaki refers to himself as like, Haruhi's dad. He's all like, Haruhi, you do as daddy tells you. And Haruhi's all like, you're not even my dad, Tamaki-senpai. Like, it's hilarious, okay? When Tamaki's like upset, he just goes off and pouts in the corner. And there's that one episode where Tamaki just starts disintegrating. It's hilarious. I love it. Tamaki's like covered in this cloud of gloom and he's off in the corner and everyone just like is a totally okay with it. They just let him pout in the corner and they're like, okay, there goes Tamaki again. <laughs> I don't know. I just love this show so much. <laughs> the members are like so great. Like oh, this is, the host club is fantastic. Like friendship gold. Part seven, theme song jam. <laughs> watch the show. So this is me telling you to go watch Orin High School Host Club. Trust me, you will not regret it. Just go watch the show. It's on Netflix. It's dubbed and everything. So you don't even have to read subtitles. It's a great time. All of the episodes are only like 23 to 24 minutes. There's 26 of them. So I'm sure if you can watch a whole season of Gossip Girl in like a week, you can totally watch this show in like three, four days. Part nine. I have too many feels and I just need to end this video. Pretty sure this video is like 20 minutes long. <laughs> but I got I got a lot of feelings towards this show. I just love it so much. Oh my god, I need to stop. I need to stop. I could sit here and talk to you about the show for like centuries. So I will save you that pain. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you watched Oran High School Host Club and want to talk about it with me, feel free to leave comments down below. <laughs> I also have social media so you can tweet me and stuff like that. But, once again, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!